What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to your Monday preview. What's coming Monday? Well, let's find out. We do this on the channel every Sunday, and hopefully it helps you guys out as to get a little bit of an idea as to what's coming. And we do have a couple of clues as to what's coming, even though this week is slightly kind of mixed up. And the reason for that is because of the holiday period, right? So obviously this AFC Champions League pack, that is up in 14 hours. So tomorrow that will be done. And then we also have the Spanish League attackers, Cry, Forlan and Raul, who we all packed. We got sponsored on the stream um, to open those. They're going to be like going on for another three days or two days, but that one is going to be finished tomorrow, right? So when the server maintenance is over to tonight or Monday, whenever we, you know, actually get this, this player pack is going to be gone, right? But this player pack was going on for a bit longer than usual, okay? But we also do have in the database, which we'll get to here, we also have a bit of an idea as to what's coming. So these Italian League Guardian uh, Guardians have a date of the 8th of January, right? And you can see the players that they have here. So it's a defensive uh, pack. Usually what they do is, right, if you notice here, they have Cruyff, they've got Spanish League attackers, then they usually switch it up with either midfielders or defenders, usually defenders after attackers, right? So this is in the database. It's dated as uh, January 8th, which is tomorrow. Uh, you've got Merritt, Danilo, you've got Coop Miners, you've got Lopez, Kalulu. Uh, you've got all your players here that you can see on screen, right? On top of that, usually when they have these packs in, as in the Spanish League pack, these Spanish League pack players came with Cry, Forlan, and Raul. So these Italian guardians here are obviously going to come with Italian legends, right? So the Italian legends that have been updated, right, are Aldeir and Bergomi, who fit that bill of centre-back and right-back. And also, what I consider is going to be end-game, one of the best centre-backs in the game, Paolo Maldini, headband Maldini, right? Now, this guy is going to be an absolute beast, right? Um, just taking a look at some of the, you know, some of the cards that are going to be coming here, right? as we kind of predict. Now, listen, there is still a tiny, tiny chance because of the way the holiday season like worked and the fact that the Ronaldo Kante Koulibaly AFC Champions League pack was like extended, that these might be pushed back a day or two, but I don't think they will. I think they'll drop this pack alongside Cry Forlan and Raul, okay? Because a lot of people have spun for them and I think they'll try and refresh that on the Monday, get back to the Monday for the Legends and uh, Thursday for the Player of the Week and stuff like that, right? Because Mondays are probably more popular days now. It's the whole week to spin. Um, but this Danilo, you can see where the Met has gone with a lot of these cars that they're releasing, right? So you've got Danilo here, one of the best players that I like to use way back when in eFootball 23. Very good defense, as you can see there. That's going to go into the 90s. Defensive engagement is going to go to 91. Because, obviously, of his stats that are going to get the manager boost. Every player gets a manager boost. But on top of that, his speed and physical contact and jump is going to be really, really nice as well. Speed at 85. He's going to be hitting the meta straight away. So the meta at the moment is roughly for centre-backs, DMFs, and, you know, any defensive type player. Right back, left back, doesn't matter, right? Is usually three to four stats or all stats that are for defence, such as you see there, into the 90s. Um, which Danilo has three, and then speed to be at minimum 85, okay? So Araujo, Tami Ashu, any of those players are going to be meta. We also have Lopez, who's a DMF, and this guy looks like Barella, right? So if you've missed out on Barella's best cards, you can get this guy if you want. He looks like an absolute beast. Now, obviously, he mightn't have 32 levels. These levels are not finalized yet, so they might be, you know, worse or better based on this. Um, but you've got a really, really solid player here with 85 speed. You've actually got his defensive awareness at 19, his aggression at 95, his tackling at 88 with defensive engagement at 88. So it's going to be a very, very nice card as well. Um, you have Kalulu here, who's down as a center back. Again, you're going to have 90 speed with this guy. Ridiculous. And then all the stats in here are going to be in the 90. If he has 28 levels, he could have more, he could have less. It depends. It's not finalized yet. And Dumfries, of course, is the last one, right, that we're going to look at. The rest of them are going to be probably uh, worth looking at tomorrow as well when we'll do a full review and we'll obviously be streaming. Again, Dumfries is not going to be that good in terms of, like, defense, but um, physically he's going to be brilliant. Speed and stamina is going to be really good as well, right? Now, on to the main attraction, which is going to be Paolo Maldini. We've maxed out Paolo Maldini here at 28 levels. He might have more, he might have less, right? So if he has 28 levels... You're talking about with the booster, okay, which is going to be giving him a plus two, and the manager boost, which is going to be giving him another plus two. I would say that his header, one of his speed or acceleration, probably his physical contact, and one of the defense. Probably defensive awareness, tackling, 
uh, physical contact and maybe either speed or header will probably get boosted up, right? We don't know the booster yet. It's not 100% confirmed with the level, right? But this is going to be an extraordinary card, right? I mean, even if the booster gets the speed, you will potentially be able to get the speed really, really high there. Uh, we haven't even, you know, I mean, if you take away even some from aerial strength, right? And you just wanted to boost it up to the speed, you will have 85 speed there from the rip with these defensive stats. If he gets a booster to, to his defensive stats, you won't need to go as high with this because tackling, defensive aware, awareness, all of these will be maxed out at 100, right? So it's going to be a really, really strong card. I definitely think people will want Maldini. He's probably going to be the most popular card in, that they've released in a long time because of where the meta has gone, right? You can score goals with a with an average center forward, right? You can score goals with collar. You can get to division one with collar. You can get to division one with, you know, base Benzema. You can get to division one with base Ronaldo or special Ronaldo or Latara Martinez or Romario or Mike Lone. But in terms of defending, the defending now at the moment has just switched so much. I have done a lot of live streams on it, but I will be do, doing a video on it as well. But the defendant has changed so much now that it's all about positioning and it's all about speed and being able to hold the line as best as you possibly can, right? Like uh, like, like a boss centre-back, right? Aldair is going to be more aggressive, I think. He's going to be kind of like your destroyer-esque type player uh, as a centre-back. Really, really strong. Speed is going to be high. Defence stats are going to be high. Physicality is going to be good. Obviously not as tall as Maldini. Maldini is 186. This guy's 183. Maldini is like 85 kg. This guy's 75 kg. But player skills and all that, we'll take a look at tomorrow. This guy at 22 levels, which I think he'll have a lot more, is going to be a monster. Because I reckon that this guy will probably go into the 90s with speed as well. Or close to that. And also have all his defensive stats around that too. Okay, So, you know, I mean, that's, that's where the meta is at, at the moment. I think they're trying to like shake it up a little bit and say, yeah, look, people are having fun scoring goals. People are scoring bangers with the blitz curlers. There's lots of route to score goals in this game. There's only one route at the moment to stop goals. And as I always say, if you are struggling to concede goals or with conceding goals, the amount of goals that you will score from the center of the pitch, like as in going into the box or just outside the box, is going to be massively more than what you do from the wings now because they have nerfed the wing play. So the ball always has to come in, man. What goes up must come down. And it's the same. What goes out wide has to come back in central if you want to score a goal. So that's where you should defend if you are really trying to pack that defensive area. And last but not least, we have Borgomi. Now, I'll be honest, Les, I don't really know too much about this guy. Um, this is from the 88-89 season. I mean, I wasn't even born. Just a little, a little uh, baby. But... Um, a speed and acceleration look pretty decent. This guy's down as a right back. This guy looks like kind of a candidate to take over from wan if we do spin him. Of course, we will be spinning for Maldini because we got a donation on the live stream thanks to Lou Cola as well. Um, but defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, defensive engagement, ridiculous. Again, for a right back, really, really strong. Uh, we've actually pumped up his aerial strength here, but to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't even go for that. Once it's at 78, that'll get the plus two boost to his physical contact. That'll be more than enough. We can then decide whether we want to have him a little bit more defensive if we want to have him as our main right back and a little a little faster. Um, or we can train him up in multiple different ways. So yeah, that is it for your Monday preview, Les. Let me know what you guys think. Are you happy with Aldair, Bargomi and Maldini? More so Maldini and the rest of the players that you see here. Let me know what your thoughts are. Will you spin or skip? I will be back tomorrow with a live stream. Hope to see you guys there. We'll have another giveaway of a 20 euro uh, PSN code giveaway or coin code giveaway um, tomorrow as well. So don't forget to get involved in that. We'll be streaming later around, you know, or streaming at around 12 p.m., 1 p.m. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys there. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. Peace.